This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create reflections using Final Cut Pro 10. I love this one. This I, had, I almost didn't get this webinar done. I had too much fun playing. Steven asks, my talent is sitting on a stool against a green background, and I want to create the 60 minutes opening look. How do I create the reflection off the floor? Is there a plugin I can use? There's no plugin needed, although there are plugins, I'm sure, that do this. You can do it automatically in motion, but in Final Cut, it's trivial. We just simply duplicate, distort, blur, and lower the opacity. <laughs> Let me show you how this works. This is just so cool. Here, for instance, I've got a piece of video that I want to have create a reflection for. Now, this is a chroma key, so we got to get rid of the green screen first. So let's just position it right there. Go to the effects browser and go to the keying category. And let's just drag the key around. I'm not going to worry about making the key perfect. It's close enough for this example. Now that I've created the key and I've got my graphic positioned where I want it to go, and of course we could do other things like color correction and reposition, but I want to show how to create the reflection. Hold the Option key down and drag the clip up. Option drag makes a copy of it. And now we have two copies of the clip. With the top clip selected, let's go to the Distort menu down here in the low left corner of the viewer. I'm going to grab this top bar right here and drag the clip upside down and we'll just separate it a little bit. The bottom clip in the primary storyline is my main image. The top clip in a connected clip is the copy that I've made that I'm now distorting. With that copy, I'm going to again select the clip, go up to here and say that I'm done with this. Now let's manipulate it some more. We'll open up the inspector. First thing that I want to do is to decrease the opacity to make it look like it's shining off a surface somewhere around in there. And let's add a blur. So we'll go up to our blurs and let's add just a Gaussian blur again to the top clip. And now as we play this, we've got the illusion of her reflecting off some black vinyl. Or I could take this clip, go back to distortion and pull it back up again. And now she's in front of a mirror. Or I can pull it over to here, take this, stretch it out. The mirror is on the wall beside her so that she's against the, you know, against the wall of a mirror. Is that not cool? Easy, easy, easy to do. To reset it again, just simply select the clip, go up to the inspector, go down to where it says distort, and click the go back button, and now the distort back to where it was. Again, turn it upside down, put it where you want. Instant mirror effect. This has been an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 259. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.